So today I'm going to show you how to use a custom function to return tab names here to build a table of contents. And then we'll go ahead and build links so you can go directly to those tabs. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our app script. This is where we build a custom function. The difference between a custom function and a normal script is you don't have to authorize a custom function. It runs like a formula. And so we're gonna call this one tab names. And this is actually a pretty simple formula. All we need to do is access the spreadsheet. So we're gonna do that, let ss get spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet. So this gives us our spreadsheet in this variable called ss. Now we need to get our tabs. And so let's go ahead and say let tabs equals ss.getSheets. And so this method accesses all the sheets from the spreadsheet. So now we have all our tabs in here, and now we can iterate through them. I like using a quick for loop. It's easy and simple to use. And so I'm gonna use I for my iterator. And so this is basically going to look through each entry in the tabs, and we'll get some results. So let's go ahead and make a quick array, call this results. And then what we're gonna do is results push, and this is gonna add uh, a row to this results array. And then this is basically what we're gonna push in back to the sheet. And so what we're gonna do here is first tabs, and we're gonna access I. So this iterator goes through each row in this tabs array. And then let's do the other thing we need. Uh, we actually need to get sheet name here. And then the other thing we need to get is the sheet ID, and this will need to build our link. So last thing we need to do is return results. And then we'll go ahead and just format this, make this look nice, hit save. And then we're good to go here. So we can go ahead and close this for now. And then we'll go ahead and refresh this. Sometimes it takes a second for this to recognize in the system. Basically what we're gonna do now is go tab names, We'll see if this recognizes it yet. Already did, there we go. So there's our results. We can build a quick link using hyperlink. And then what we do is this GID, which is Google's way of saying the sheet ID. And then we're gonna grab that sheet ID that we got here. And then for our link title, we'll grab C6. And there we go. We can drag this down. And now we have a link to each tab. So we can go here, settings takes us straight to settings tab. So the last thing we'll do before we sign off for today is show you how to exclude for in this example, if we don't want table of contents to show up, let's go back to our app script and let's just exclude that. So let's just say if tabs I get sheet name, if I can get the right method there, sheet name is not equal to table of contents. And then we'll wrap that in our curly brackets. So we're just adding this condition. And then look at that, I already did that. So here we have an extra hyperlink, it's not showing anything. So we can go ahead and delete that. One thing we could do if this is going to change is simply add if c6 equals blank, show nothing, then we can drag this all the way down. And then this form is there, ready to go, in case we add a new tab. So these custom functions aren't the same as a regular function. It doesn't automatically update anytime something changes. So for example, here we have tab one, two, three. If I make a new tab, and let's call this tab four. If we go back here, you can see it hasn't added it yet. So there's two ways we can do this. One is we could manually delete this and re-add it. And that's a little clunky. Um, so another way you can handle this is let's add couple columns here and then let's just add a checkbox and then um, toggle to update let's go ahead and just make this real quick and we can change the color in this all right so what we'll do now is we'll just grab this h5 and put it into this custom function name. 
So this actually isn't going to do anything on the custom function side because we haven't programmed to allow for that. But what it does is now it gives us a way to toggle that update. So you can see tab four ratio showed up. Let's actually just get rid of this real quick and toggle to update. And you can see there it's updating now. So let's go back and add that again and let's see what happens. So we can hit toggle again. It doesn't matter whether it's checked or unchecked. And now you can see that now we're getting updated. So this is the easiest way to update a custom function, whether it's one for creating tab names or a potentially a different function, custom function that you're using. Just remember that a quick checkbox can force it to refresh. All right, that's it for today. Make sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials on Google Sheets and AppScript.